Now, I played it with the capo on the 4th fret, but the original is on the 1st fret. I think it goes up to the A sharp for the guys. is a baritone just below the middle of the piano, A3, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, I just put it 3 notes higher, so I go to a C sharp. That's just one note above the middle of the piano, not very high, so you can practice here too. But some of you might not have a capo. And it's fine, you can practice it low and uh, like we're going to do now. I'll show you also the picking and the technique and the chords. And also in the link in the description, I've got uh, all the chords with the lyrics. So you guys can read it and play it from there if you like. Now I'll put the capo away. Let's start off by the chords. It's an A minor. And then a C. An A minor. A G. An A minor. Now I will say 97% you're playing an A minor, just that, and you can just start singing there. Now before we go into when do we start and make it a little bit easier, let's see what happens with the right hand. I'm plugging the two bases with my right hand thumb, that's the middle bass, and then the bottom bass. That's the fourth string counting from down up. Sorry for the sound of traffic guys. It's about six in the morning now here and uh, I actually finished uh, the video. I had a little break. I put something on. I was ready to fall asleep. I say no, I have to finish this video now because the requests are out there. So I hope you like it. Let's continue. We're playing with the bass. Fifth, fourth, fifth, fourth, fifth, fourth. Now you also notice that there is a little mute sound. There's not a... I mute it because I'm playing just one guitar and I think if it's like that I'm gonna have to raise my voice and it's gonna overpower me, my own guitar. So what I do is I use a little part of the skin here, of this part, yeah? And we touch softly on the bridge here. Now, just, you can hear the dead notes. If you're too far in, too dead. If you're too far back, too vibrating, yes, too much sustain. So find where your skin touches. Now I'm wearing a little uh, wool thing here. If it also touches here, it does its job very nicely as well. So you can also use uh, fabric touching. It doesn't have to be your own hand. And to finish off the picking, every time you pick the bottom bass, that's the fourth string, you're gonna pick with your index and your middle, the third and the second string together. So it will be like this, middle bass and then three strings together and repeat. That's all to it, nothing complicated. Now I didn't use my skin to also mute this one's a little bit, the tremble strings. I would suggest you do that too, not only the bass and still have that um, tremble strings vibrating a lot. So you want to plug those a little bit, mute those a little bit too. And if you lift a little bit, you can get a little bit of a funky feeling. That's killing the, the note, yeah, in a good way. <laughs> All right, and you want to start singing, not on your first bass, but on your second when you're starting together. Yes, you can run on. Run on for a long time. Watch it again. You can run on for a long time. So once you plug those three strings together, that's where you start your sentence, and that's gonna help you begin with your guitar play. Now, as I told you, 97% is this. I just use this little weird technique here to get a little rhythmic beat going. And Whenever I say, sooner or later, God will cut you down. Here, I just switch to the C bass. And then I switch back to the A minor. Then to the G, and I plug the top bass. Then back to the A minor. So that changes. I'm not going to mute it now so you can hear it a lot clearer. and you go 
go Sooner or later, God will cut you down Sooner or later, God will cut you down Sooner or later, God will cut you down I hope that makes sense, guys It's really not hard You may throw your rock Hide your hand Working in the dark against your fellow man Yeah, you can see and if you go to my website and see, you can just use this picking on a very easy A minor and then that little change. And notice your mute because you can use this mute in many songs, especially in, in ballads if you like. And something's out of tune. Now, uh, and I haven't noticed that they got out of tune, maybe because when I have it muted you can't hear everything playing. But, as I promised you, I gave a little lesson to this. Uh, tell me if you like this kind of uh, uh, short sessions of guitar, first playing the whole thing, giving you the chords, giving you the lyrics, and then, and I'm not putting it on as a singer, I'm a dancer, you guys know it, I've just been doing this for the past 10 years on YouTube as a hobby. And uh, for the past five, I've started doing vocalizing, and the voice is slowly growing, slowly getting better. And uh, it could have been better singing it, but I didn't want it to wait to upload it. Not because I'm excited to share it so much as to, oh, listen to what I've done. No, it's uh, the lesson, first of all, to share for you guys to do it as well. And plus, to show that some things are not perfect, some things might be a little bit uh, flat when I sang it. And, but that's okay because uh, it's not my profession, we don't have to be the best. Sometimes you just have to do it so you can move on to the next project. So I did it, I hope you like it and the lesson and the little surprise I have for you. Check on the video here which is another Johnny Cash Hurt. Beautiful song, very easy way to play and I hope you enjoy that video. If you like this one, I'm sure you will that one too. Alright guys. See you on the next video. Take care. God bless.